This just in, breaking Fox News. That's right, Fox News from Trump's rally in Mint Hill, North Carolina. I mean, you got to admit, times are getting tough when your bromance with Fox News finds itself on shaky ground. That's a really good breaking story we've got for you. But bear in mind, kind of in the same vein, isn't it kind of a bummer when you have a, a spouse or a really good friend who's trying to do something special and they spend all day long in the kitchen cooking you this amazing meal and it is so flipping bad. You have to sneak to try and slowly feed it to the dog on the side, right? Well, that's exactly what's happening with Trump and Fox News on this amazing breaking story. Because good old daddy delusional diminishing Don has been serving up just piles of snake oil slime all day long. Take a look. I stopped wars from happening. If it were somebody else, they would have gotten five Nobel Prizes. I never even got a mention, and I wouldn't. Obama got a Nobel Peace Prize, and he didn't even do it. He said, why did I get it? He had no idea. It was immediate as soon as he walked into office, practically. He didn't do anything. If I were the president, I would inform the threatening country, in this case Iran, that if you do anything to harm this person, we are going to blow your largest cities and the country itself to smithereens. We're going to blow it to smithereens. You can't do that. Just let that sink in for a second. He wants a Nobel Peace Prize while simultaneously wanting to blow an entire country up to smithereens and start World War III. If any senior doesn't vote for Trump, we're going to have to send you to a psychiatrist to have your head examined. Yeah, how about that some love for old people? Going to send them for a psychiatric exam, and maybe somebody should actually slip a note to Trump and remind him, hey, Donnie, you're a senior. And then there's this. Let me tell you, right now, we have more terrorists coming, thousands, coming into our country than we've ever even thought possible. And these are rough terrorists. These are the real deal. And only bad is going to happen. Oh, yeah. You know, those terrorists and bad people from all over, like the guys you took nearly a half a billion dollars from, and you said nothing when they dismembered and killed Jamal Khashoggi, who, by the way, was a U.S. resident. And it just keeps going with him today. That there was no place for furniture in particular, like North Carolina, you were the furniture capital of the world, but now so much of that business has been stolen from you and it's made in China. Boy, oh boy, you made the best product, you made the best furniture. After North Carolina lost over 300,000 manufacturing jobs quickly. He can. As a line of clothing. Now, where were these made? These were made, I don't know where they were made, but they were made someplace. But they're great. It's ties, shirts, cufflinks, everything sold at Macy's, and they're doing great. Number one selling tie anywhere in the world. Number one selling I, I tie know, anywhere in the world. Wear that well, shirt, you wouldn't wear that we shirt? We also have them in white and beautiful where, white. Where are the shirts made? Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Well, it's good. Okay. We employ people in Bangladesh. That's ties? Good. Where are the ties they made? These are too. beautiful ties. They are great ties. The ties are made in where? China? China. Ties are made in China. Oh, yeah. Old Donnie wants to stand in North Carolina and rail on China for making bad furniture, except for when, yeah, there's those moments he wants them to make ties so he can have a better margin on it. Ugh. Well, and after all of that stuff, the breaking news for Donald Trump is Fox finally just said, okay, and they did this. All right, well, we're going to continue to watch this. Uh, we carried this uh, economic speech in its entirety for almost an hour and a half yesterday. We're told that the rest of this speech will very much echo what we heard yesterday. Fox News finally just said, oh boy, we've heard of, we're going to have to just, all right, thanks, Don. We're going to cut away now and tell people they can watch the whole pile of this, the whole thing in its entirety at some other time. Sheesh, this guy is running for president and it's close, which is frightening because he also said this about the Ukraine, and this should tell you everything you want to know about the truth of the way Don really thinks and how this guy talks as a politician, because when he says even a bad deal, you know what he's really saying? Putin would have had it all by now. Listen. Because 
Ukraine is gone. It's not Ukraine anymore. You can never replace those cities and towns, and you can never replace the dead people, so many dead people. Any deal, even the worst deal, would have been better than what we have right now. If they made a bad deal, it would have been much better. They would have given up a little bit. And that is why we are fighting so hard to make sure that he doesn't get, and he being Putin, get back, with the help of Donald Trump, a good portion of what used to be the Soviet Union, because that would be the beginning of a really big problem we really couldn't get out of. Remember, do what Barack Obama said. Don't boo. Vote. Thanks for listening. I'm Kevin E.